If you just started using Revit Structure and you're looking for a step-by-step -step full project modeling tutorial, this video is for you. I'm going to be walking you through the creation of a reinforced concrete building and show you the best practices for an error-free, healthy model. So, welcome to How to BEM and let's get started. The first thing to do is launching Revit and creating a new project. Then we will delete the existent levels, the ones uh, added by Revit by default. Let's just delete both the floor plans and the ceiling plans so we can create our own. And then we'll open one of the elevation views. And we will start renaming our levels. This is the foundation. Next, we have the ground floor. Now we're going to go to uh, architecture in the menu and then select the levels and create a new level. We will rename it first floor. Press on no. And then we'll double click on the elevation to change it. We can also change it from the properties tab. Now we're going to go to the menu, view and plant views, and then go to structural plants. Select the first floor, edit type. And then we're going to go to the view direction and make it up because we want to be able to view our structural elements uh, in the upper part of the floor, such as the uh, slabs and the um, beams. Next, we'll go to foundation, edit type, set the view direction to down so we can be able to view our pads. And then we will duplicate this, ty this type of uh, plans and then create a new foundation plans, which is a new type of plans. That way we have the structural plans and the foundation plans. And we will find this uh, organized in our project browser. Now type UN on your keyboard. The project units will appear and you can set your units to whichever suits you. For me, I'm going to be using the uh, metric system and I'm going to be choosing the meters. Now we're going to go to set our view range. So make sure you click the R on your keyboard and you will find the view range window. To get the best visibility in your uh, plans, Make sure that you have your associated level, which is the first floor in which we're in right now. Choose in in all these sections. So in the top of your uh, view or in your primary range top, I'm going to set the offset to 1 meter. In the cut plane, I'm going to be setting my offset to minus uh, 0 0.5 meters. In the bottom, I'm going to be uh, setting it to minus 0 0.5 meters. And finally, in my uh, view depth, the level associated will be also my first floor. And the offset will be a minus one meter. The next thing we're going to do is creating the grids for our model. So we're going to go to the foundation level and then press on grids. You can find that in both structure and architecture in the home menu. I'm going to be setting my level of details to fine. And then I'm going to create my first grid. Then select your grid and go to the modify menu and click on copy. Make sure you check multiple and constraints and then we're going to click on it and slide it to the side. I'm going to be typing six. Therefore, the distance between each uh, grid will be six. For this one, I'm going to be typing five. 
and these are our vertical uh, grids now i'm gonna be uh, creating the horizontal ones i'm gonna rename the first one a therefore all the horizontal grids will follow with alphabetical uh, letters to do the same thing copy multiple uh, constraints and then slide downwards and click or uh, type the uh, distance I need for this one I can five and then another five you can add to four for example or six now I'm gonna select the bottom of my vertical grids and to just slide them down And as, I, as you can see, we will find our grids in all our levels. And if I want to change my grids uh, number or my grids letter, I could easily do that double clicking. Now we're going to start creating our structural elements. So we're going to go to structure and then choose column. Uh, the by default column here is a metallic one. I need a reinforced concrete one. So we're going to go to load family. This is my library. It's in French. If you don't have a library, you could find it uh, online or you could read me in the comments and I will share uh, links to libraries with you. So before placing my columns, I'm going to click on edit type and then change their dimensions i chose a rectangular uh a rectangular uh, column so i could change my b and h sections and then i'm going to duplicate it and rename it with its new dimensions and then write okay now i'm going to go to the uh the top side of the menu and then choose height not depth and make sure that i choose the top floor of my uh of my columns which is the first floor and then i'm gonna the intersection of my grids because my columns will be moving with the grids and then i'm gonna place it in the middle Now we don't want to be doing that the whole day, so we're going to copy columns. I'm going to change my display, my graphics display to shade it. And then we're going to right click and go select all elements in view. And then click on copy. Choose the middle column and then slide down and copy it in every intersection of grids just like that and we're good we can go to our 3d model to check our columns and here they are Assuming that now I remembered that my first floor is 4 meters or my first floor is 530 meters and I need to change that and I already created my columns, I can simply go to the elevation and change it and my column will automatically follow the uh, floor or the level it was connected to. Okay, now we're gonna go back to our ground floor. And we'll be creating our beams. We'll follow the same thing. Go load family and go to my library to create or to select the beams, the reinforced concrete beams. I'm going to choose the rectangular one so I can my sections. And I'm going to edit the type. Gonna choose a two thirty, a two fifty, 
300 millimeters and I'm gonna change the dimension here the, the chosen uh, placement plan is the ground floor and I'm gonna start linking my columns with my structural beams I've created my first beams I'm gonna do the same thing I did with the columns You can see them in here in the 3d view so i'm gonna select them select one change my display option my graphic display option first i need to uh save my file and give it a name something we should have done at the start of this tutorial and I changed my display uh, graphic display option to shaded. Right click and go to select all instance visible in view or in the project. Right now it really doesn't matter. And then we're going to copy. Slide down. Go to the uh, intersection of threads. And paste. Now we're gonna create the rest of our beams and change the dimension. But first we need to duplicate. Make sure you always duplicate when you're changing dimension or changing anything related to your elements in Revit. We'll resume modeling our beams. Now we will select them. And copy in intersect. And now we go to our 3 view, and we can see that our ground floor beams have been set. Now, instead of actually doing the same thing for each level, we're gonna select all of them, and then go to filter. And then decheck the structural columns and the levels, because we don't want to be copying that. And then click apply OK. Right now we have all our uh, beams selected with an elevation of 0 meters. Now we're going to go to copy and then paste. Choose the first floor and then click OK. And that way we have uh, copied our elements. This is the type of uh, feature we use to copy elements with elevation and when we check in the east view we can see that the distance between them is 2 meters 0.3 now I want to change my first floor like I remember that my first floor's elevation is wrong so I'm gonna make it 4 meters and as usual it did not affect our model. All our elements are moving with the levels. Now we'll go back to the ground floor and start creating our structural floors. So go to uh, architecture and choose structural floor. This is one of the options. We could randomly select any of them because we're going to customize our option. Make sure you duplicate it first. Give it a name that you'll remember. In future project in case you need it I'm gonna go with a simple for 200 millimeters and here we have all of the layers of our floor from finish to uh, air layer to structural core to the substrate and I think I'm gonna delete all of them and only leave the uh, core boundary, which is this structure. 
it's currently concrete you could also change that by clicking on the three little buttons in that rectangle and change the material of your element and here you could change the thickness make sure it's uh, checked to be a structural material and then press apply ok now we're gonna start modeling our well, our floors so i'm gonna go and pick the pick lines tool so this is what you shouldn't be doing which is creating all your floors all at once yes it takes less time but it can cause multiple uh, problems later when all your floors are acting as one so we're gonna delete those and then single-handedly create each and every single floor in our model or we can copy them not really recommended to copy your floors it's better that you create them individually but if you want to copy you should at least make sure that you're copying from your uh, grids intersection so if you guys are interested in navi's work tutorials such as uh, clash detection or quantification and takeoffs or creating a 4d timeliner uh, animations you could check the rest of my videos or you could check the uh, playlist link in the right top of the screen now we need to copy our uh, floors in the uh, first floor so let's go back to the ground floor select one of the floors and then select all instance visible in view or in the project and then go copy and paste align to selected levels and choose the first floor press ok check your 3d2 and here are our floors in both the ground level and the first floor now assuming we want to create more levels we're gonna go back to our elevations for example the east elevation and then go to architecture and create a new level we will name it second floor and change the elevation to for example seven meters and maybe we need a, another floor so we're gonna do the same we'll name it third floor And change the elevation if I want to align my levels I could select it and then a tiny circle will appear which will help me drag the level to the side I could select both of them at the same time and then the circle will appear and I could slide them to the side and make sure that they're all aligned i could even lock my levels to make sure that i don't end up moving them by mistake so back to our 3d model now we have two floors so we just want to copy what we've already created so let's just select the top side of our model and then go to filter we will decheck the levels of course and press OK. Now we're gonna do copy and paste, align to selected level, and choose the second floor. And then do the same thing and align it to the third floor. Now there's a little issue here because our uh, our columns have been created from the foundation level, which is different to the other levels, and not all our levels have the same height. So I'm gonna select my columns go to the properties and i will find a base offset and i'm gonna delete it make sure it's zero base offset zero 
That way, my models will not have any offset from their base, which is their level. And I save time, but I still have a healthy error-free model. Now we will go back to foundation and we'll start creating our pads. We'll go to structure, isolated pads or isolated structural foundation. Go uh, open the family, go to structure, foundation. This is my library. And then choose the uh, base rectangular. Make sure that also your pads are rectangular so you can choose the um, sections. I can also edit the type, edit the length, the width, and the thickness. I'm simply going to change the name of my element. And now I'm going to go to the intersection of the grids and the center of my columns and place my pad. Do the same thing. Select the one that's visible in view and then copy. Make sure multiple ink constraints are selected or checked and then slide down and copy my elements in every column intersection check the free view and we have our foundation now we're gonna create the site we're gonna go to massing and site to for solids and create from sketch First, we will choose the boundary lines of our uh, topo solid. If you want to understand topo solids better, there's a video in my channel. I will add it in the description. It will help you understand how you manage your topo solids. I'm going to trim the outline, and here is my topo solid. Now I'm going to change the category to Earth because it still looks plastic or concrete. Okay, now it looks like land. We'll change the uh, display, the graphics display. And we will later edit the sketch because for now it's just a flat piece of land. So you can choose elevations from the project base point or you could choose uh, elevation with no constraints. I started with minus 0, uh, 0.3 meters. Let's go for minus 0, 0.1. It adds a couple of more points of minus zero two. Now, when we check our 3D view, we can't really see much difference in the elevation. So, we can modify our points uh, individually. As you can see, we cannot move the sub elements below the uh, level of or the base level of our topo solid so we can move it upwards and yes that's it for this part of this tutorial in the next part we're going to be adding the reinforcement for our concrete structure so thank you for watching and see you in the next part of this tutorial make sure you subscribe and like my content